Hello y'all, my name is Scott Grove. Some call me Dr. Groovy. I'm with uh, GroovyMusicLessons.com. Today I want to talk to you folks about um, pickups and they're kind of like real estate on your guitar. Uh, it's all about location, location, location. Uh, so where the pickup is actually located at on the body of your guitar will greatly determine you know the actual sound of the guitar. Back in the 70s there were basses and guitars that had pickups that could actually slide back and forth and you could put them right where you wanted them and it made you can't imagine the difference. If I had uh, any gumption right now I'd just grab a pickup and wire it straight and just run it up and down a guitar and show you how it works but <laughs> you'll get the idea here shortly. Let's take a look at a few guitars and different pickup configurations and uh, let you guys kind of let it soak in what I mean about the location and uh, what you can expect to get out of guitar. I can look at pretty much any guitar in the world and tell you if I'm going to like it or not without ever even playing it, if I'm going to like the actual tone of it or if I can actually change it, you know, by changing the pickups that are in it and making it a guitar that I would actually play. And maybe you guys can figure out the same stuff by me showing you a few things. Okay, behind me here we have, there's a infamous Gibson Les Paul Custom. Okay, it's one of them Ace Fraley things. So, here we have three DiMarzio humbuckers in here. Now, most of you know, and if you don't, that's why I'm here, that if you take the toggle switch and you turn on just the bridge pickup. Uh, the pickups, right here with the tops of the, well, we'll call them magnets. The magnets are actually below, but the pole pieces. Um, these are what are actually picking up your sound, and they will only pick up right here, what's above them. They're not going to pick up what's below them. <laughs> okay, so they're only picking up the string from here to here. That's all it hears. You know, if, it, if the thing has ears, that's all it hears, and that's all it reproduces through your amplifiers. That much real estate. So it's going to be, since it's close to this bridge, it's a very short distance. Um, very tinny, high endy, pitchy, high end. Take the same thing, flick the switch, go to the neck pickup. It is real far from the bridge. Play the same thing. Has a lot more bass to it because it's only picking up this part of the string. So that is a lot further away from the bridge. So the further away from the bridge you put the pickup, the bassier it will sound. The closer you get it to the bridge, the more high end or tinny it would sound. Again, here is the one up by the neck. Lots of bass. Go to the one right by the bridge. You can hear a huge difference. Now this particular one, you see we have another pickup in the center. So by the same token, it is going to pick up this part of the string that the other ones are leaving out. You know, a lot of guitars just don't have a metal pickup. So you don't have the choice. Some people, if that gets in their way of their pick or whatever. Other people, it doesn't seem to bother them. So um, just choose what's best for you. But if I add this pickup, so all this real estate right here, to this one, then I get all of this. So I get the bright stuff, and then I get all this stuff in the middle, but I'll be leaving this part out up here. So I'm going to add all this and still get the brightness and the clarity then add some of the mid-range in there and let's see what happens. That's what happens when we go in the middle here. It's just the way it's wired. Hear that? It's almost Fender-y sounding. Um, like a Stratocaster would be. And you're like, yeah it is. Why? Even though they're humbucking pickups, you know, they're totally quiet. Right here, this guitar has single coil pickups in it. Um, they are exactly in the same location as a Stratocaster would be. When this guitar was built, there was a Stratocaster pick guard laid on the body as a template. You just fill in the lines, draw it in with the pencil, 
cut the holes and if you put the pickups there it's going to sound exactly like a Stratocaster okay so that's what you kind of have going on here because they are in the same vicinity as far as the location of, and what the pickups are actually hearing and reproducing so you're getting the middle one you're getting this now if you actually wanted to and I've done it on some other videos when you have pickups like this that you can actually see we have screws here we have just those little slugs right there but if we wanted to we could remove these screws and this part here would no longer pick up but this would so it would sound like that pickup on a Stratocaster okay so it wouldn't sound like a humbucking pickup it would sound like a single coil pickup this down here would actually become what is called a dummy coil they used to take those and actually have them like underneath here in the old days so they could have it look like this but then there was another coil like this underneath it but making it totally quiet just like a humbucker okay so this would be like a really hot since humbuckers are actually um, wound with more copper wire around them so they have a higher output and that copper wire is still there so therefore you would just have a louder single coil if you were to actually remove these screws so if I was to remove those screws and to remove these screws and remove these screws this thing would almost <laughs> honestly sound pretty close to us you know a Fender type guitar okay let's move on and just remember that you know it's just where everything's located at here on this Steve I model um, things are all over the place again we have three pickups we have a humbucker in the bridge a single coil in the middle and another humbucker here what he has built into the five-way selector switch right there is okay of course when you have it in the first position it's just the humbucker back here so it will sound almost just like that Les Paul depends on how far away it is from the strings okay look at this there's the bridge on the Les Paul see how far the pickup is away from it you heard how bright sounding it was being that far away from it over here it's actually further away than that so this pickup by nature or by location will not be as bright and tanny it will have a little more body because it's not picking up the real twangy sounds way back here it's waiting and then picking up you know still some bright stuff but this coil here the green one is about where this one is the second one on the Les Paul so it gets just a little more full-bodied sounding and not quite as bright now when the five-way switch here is put in the second position what it actually does is splits this pickup so it turns off one of the coils which one does it turn off okay on this particular guitar it's exactly opposite of what I would prefer because I'm one of those guys that likes every guitar to sound like a Stratocaster I'm just a Stratocaster kind of guy I'm not into the shape but I just love the sound and the sound is crucial that they be like this um, if you were to actually have this pickup right here by the neck okay this here's a 22 fret neck if this fret job here kept on coming down the neck if it had 24 frets it would no longer sound like a strat would because that would displace this pickup it would be further down here uh, where the strats are where they put the pickups at and on a Telecaster such as here the pickup always goes as far as the neck pickup exactly where the 24th fret would be we all know how right here on the 12th fret we can play harmonics well that's Fender's key to that position right there for strats and tellies is they put it where the 24th fret would be so the very middle of that pickup is picking up those natural harmonics again it's just that region you know so if you could play those harmonics right above it just like you do above the 12th fret but that's just that sweet spot and that's what gives every Fender its sound and every guitar its sound it's just where they are located notice here I'll get back to the other one uh, that these are tilted of course so you're gonna get more bass end out of this and as it comes down closer to the bridge saddles 
that's going to add more high end to it. So it gets bassier as it goes here, more high end as it goes here. Some people like to flip them and have them angled up this way. I've got some guitars that way. Um, a lot of people just build them that way. They like to get some more twang out of the bottom strings and you know, kind of cut off some of that high end um, piercing stuff so they angle it the other way. And you can angle all your pickups. Do whatever you want. It's <laughs> just a guitar. It's just a bunch of magnets and wire. Okay, so back to here. When you put it in the second position, this five-way switch, it actually shuts off the um, green part of the pickup. So the pink one's on with this middle one. So this one is really, 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 really far away from the bridge. This one here is closer. Um, so it's not going to sound nearly as Fender Stratocaster-ish, is that a word? It is today, as it could. But that's not what Steve Vai wanted. He didn't want the Strat sound like I do. So if I would want that sound, I would actually just take this pickup and turn it over. So the pink part's down here and the green part's here. And then when I went to that two position with the switch, it would have that middle one on and then the pink one down here, and then they would be a lot more closely um, located, like on this guitar, or like on, you know, any strap. And it does the same thing up here, too. Um, it, if you put it in the four position, which means you get the middle pickup, and then the pink one again, it shuts off the green. But with a Stratocaster, you would want this one on, because you want the one, see how far away they are from each other? So you would want this one and that other green one. But if I wanted to do it and play this guitar out and I wanted it to sound like a Strat, instead of sounding like a Steve Vai's Ibanez gem, then I would flick the pickup over so that when it splits it into a single coil, the pink one would be on and the green one. So that pink one would be on way up here. And that would give me a more authentic Fender Stratocaster sound. Okay. And that, as you see, has a 24 fret neck on here. So, again, you're never going to get a pickup in that magic spot where the 24th fret would be because there's already a fret there. So there's no way this is ever going to sound like a Fender. Wait, but there is. <laughs> there are little things called resistors that you buy that you put in line. So it's in the wiring. You have the goofy little... Um, a, a little eraser looking thing with some colors on it but you can um, add some bass or decrease the treble or do whatever you want with different values on that but that's a whole different thing that's actually wiring so I just want to cover pickup locations you get into weird things that you won't see often on this uh, 1980 Gibson V2 these Bill Lawrence pickups here look at that they're shape like a flying V. So naturally, if you look at it, both pickups are like that. So from each pickup, the low string and the high string, so your low E and your high E would have a sound that is reminiscent of probably that Les Paul back there because of how close that is. So the pull pieces are underneath that piece of plastic. So the low E string will be nice and clear and bright, so with the high E string. And then as they go inward toward the A string and then your B string, those would be a little bit less bright. And then your D and G string right in the middle, they're going to be even bassier. It's just a different sound. I really like it. Um, but that's because they're actually shaped like a V, so <laughs> it gives it a whole different EQ curve. For those, again, who I um, had one time, these are Dirty Fingers pickups. This here's in a Gibson Explorer 2, Dirty Fingers pickups. Okay, now your pickups here have screws for pole pieces in both of the coils. So you could actually, if you wanted to pull some screws out of these and wanted to make them sound like single coils for whatever reason, and it's just whatever you prefer. You know, um, you could actually leave in those three on the low strings 
take out these down here and then leave in leave these three in on the treble side and take the three out of the top and that would actually mimic this on a Telecaster or easier seen this the actual tilt so that would kind of mimic what's going on there because it's just a matter again location 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 so it's just a matter of how far all these pull pieces are away from the bridge that will give each one its basic sound this guitar here this Explorer is set up um, almost just like that Les Paul is it's got a knob that you can push and pull that will add the middle pickup in and again when it's the middle pickup with the one by the bridge or the middle pickup with the one at the neck it it sounds kind of fenderish because of the location of the pickups not because they're all of a sudden single coils because they're not they're still humbuckers they're still covering more um, real estate than a single coil so um, but because of the location it gives you kind of that fenderish effect by having them located there um, a couple more just for fun this old firebird here this has the mini humbuckers in it so they are two very small coils they take up less real estate so they're actually picking up less you know of the amount of string that's above there because they are smaller pickups so they will not be as full sounding unless you have a resistor in there that changes that <laughs> so you see how close that thing is to the bridge and it doesn't it's not as big as a full-size humbucker like these so it's going to be really really bright it's stuck right next to that bridge and it's not covering see how that one's away from the bridge and it's got a whole bunch of there's pole pieces here and underneath the plain part of the pickup cover there's more pole pieces underneath there that you just can't see it just gives it that cool vintage look but there are six more pieces underneath there but since this is so small and skinny and so forth it kind of gives you that in between humbucker and single coil type of sound so it pick up just by picking up less actual real estate again meaning how much area of the string that it actually um, amplifies so they're just thinner sounding humbuckers so they're quiet but they're just thinner sounding so not quite as full and chunky uh, this guitar back here I bought it it had the little mini humbucker in the neck which is sounds really great okay so it's not quite as bassy as a typical humbucker because it's not covering as much of the string area as a full-size humbucker would it did not have a pickup in the middle when I got it I added that and then I just put that little switch in right there to turn it on and off so otherwise it's just like a normal telly thing with a three-way switch but now I can add in the middle pickup whenever I want to so I could do the whole telly thing the whole strap thing I could turn all three pickups on at once if I want to but I've got that cool humbucker up there too just for something different so just use these different ideas and just know that you know if you get it really close to the bridge like this it's gonna be really bright so if you're actually gonna make your own guitar uh, just keep that in mind what you want it to sound like or if you're gonna start pulling screws out to try to make it sound like a single coil that is dead quiet <laughs> um, I've got a few videos on that here's another one of my custom guitars everything is exactly the same location as a Stratocaster so it does sound like a Strat there are no knobs volume or tone knobs just one on and off mini switch for each pickup turn them on and off so I can have any combination uh, when I use guitars like these I use um, a volume pedal on the ground so that's what I use that there's just a kill switch turn it on and off you know get those cool old sounds okay let's show you uh, let's see how there's so many guitars here to work with but even with the Paul Reed Smith yes they did put the three single coils and you could lay a Stratocaster pickguard right on top of that guitar 
and the pickups would fit exactly as a Strat does, so it's going to sound exactly like a Strat. Same thing with these Paul Reed Smiths here. They are exactly the same spacing from the bridge and from the uh, neck. See how close that guy is to the neck up there? Exactly the same as a Strat. Same there. So, um, if you were to move that pickup by the bridge, closer to the bridge, it would be more high-end sounding, more trebly. If you straightened it out instead of having it angled, then your low strings would be a little bit brighter. Okay? Um, let's look at this guitar here. It's another one of my custom-built ones. This one actually has five pickups put in it. Okay? So there's no split coils of any sort. So we have a Seymour Duncan hot rail pickup here, but as you can see it takes up such little real estate. So it is not going to sound like a full-size humbucker unless you put one heck of a um, specifically designed resistor on there to try to get some more bass out of it, force it that way. But unless it's taken up the full space of a whole humbucker, that pickup cannot physically pick up what's being generated above this pickup. It's only going to pick up what's above these two in this little space. So it's going to th sound like a thinner version of these mini humbuckers. So you get mini humbuckers, then you have single coil size humbuckers which are even thinner sounding unless they wind them at the factory um, differently to kind of compensate for them being so small. Then they will automatically introduce different frequencies in there to compensate for the fact that they are not covering this whole range of the pickup. So, you, so if I want a real humbucker sound, I've got it right here. I just turned it on five switches here. There's one humbucker and another humbucker. There's one, two, three single coils. I've got one single coil here, one single coil here, and of course one right here where the 24th fret would be. So fender, check, got it. Right where the 24th fret is supposed to be. Then a humbucker here, and it's going to take it, it's going to be bassy sounding because of its distance from the bridge, but it's just not going to pick up even more bass from here. So you live with what you do to them. So it's like, okay, I've got a humbucker here like I wanted, but it's not going to quite cover everything here. But then again, it's going to be hotter and it's going to be more humbucker sounding, rock sounding, or whatever you want to call it, than this. Because that's just going to sound like a good old Strat or a Tele. Because the pickup is in the same location and the output on these is the same as a souped up strat so you're looking at about 7.3 on the output of these silver lay sensors this is exactly the right distance to this one to make it sound like a strat but the reason it won't sound like a strat this one is not angled it would have to this part here's right but i don't have quite as much high end on here on my single coil so i would have actually had to take like kramer used to do this a lot take pickups like this a big one big humbucker and turn it so it was like you know like the telly but like a humbucker in that position where both of them were slanted but so it came time for my groovy idea that I wanted five pickups I wanted two humbuckers I wanted three single coils all on one guitar and I've still got actual real volumes and tone controls here great bridge everything is cool just turn on and off. I can have all five pickups on and cover all that range so it picks up everything here and it picks up different here and it picks up here and here and here but these parts these two pickups are actually hotter output so you get all kinds of really cool things to choose from okay um, one last thing before I go um, if you ever have pickups like this that are completely covered and you ever want to like you'll see pickups like this one here that have allen wrench pole pieces. You can still remove those and make it sound like a single coil. If you have, a lot of people do that if they have like a spare guitar around that they think is too muddy sounding and they want to use it for recording 
and they don't have a Telecaster or something sitting around, they'll take some of the pull pieces out so that it'll sound like a nice single coil guitar, and it comes very close to doing that, and plus it's totally quiet, which is a bonus. But you can always take these <laughs> pickup covers off if they don't um, expose, you, know, you don't see any screws there or any kind of pull pieces like you do in this one where you could actually take them out and then the other one would act as the only active coil. So you can actually go take this out, uh, unsolder on both sides, just holding that cap on and take out whatever screws you want to if you want to mess around with that kind of thing. Again, I've got a few videos showing you how to do that and what they sound like. I did it on a few guitars. I did it on a Flying V and I did it on this Explorer right here so I could show you just how much you can make it sound like a Stratocaster or a Tele if you wanted to. You know, again, if you got an old closet hanging in the... an old closet hanging inside the guitar. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. Um, you know, you can experiment with that kind of stuff and take the screws out. One thing I would like to see since um, acoustic guitars have a pickup, or this one does, located right here, underneath here, uh, the piezo pickup. So it's actually underneath the bridge here, the bridge saddle. Uh, I would actually like to hear one underneath the nut. You know, place one underneath the nut, then run the um, wires for that down through the uh, truss rod channel, or just put another really small channel next to it, and then run the wires down and be able to blend it you know, in over here. So you have that pickup, getting all the high-end stuff, and then you got this one here getting all the bass stuff because of the vibrations going up through the neck, and it would vibrate underneath there, and it'd be fun to hear both of those put together. If anybody's ever done it, um, let me know. But there you go, folks. So, um, same thing for you bass players. They used to have the um, precision. Oh, no, of course, they still do. They have those pickups. So your bass, your lowest strings have more bass because that pickup is further away from the tenio bridge. And this one here for your other two strings is down closer to the bridge. So these get higher or brighter sound than these do. But then you can add a jazz pickup back here and blend it in and get all kinds of extra high end in with that if you want to. So. That just shows you why pickups are located where they are. Um, you get into guitars like this one up here, it only has one pickup. And it's right back here by the bridge. Something like that. Um, the only thing you get to do there is mess around with the volume knob, mess around with the tone knob, and get as many combinations as you can. Maybe put in a coil split switch and switch it from single coil to humbucker and have more options that way. But if you play um, heavy metal or something and you're going to be on some kind of fat distortion sound anyway um, and all you require is one humbucker back by the bridge hey cool so be it then you can turn down the volume knob and it'll clean up some of the distortion will go away uh, use your tone to do what a tone knob is for so there you go just a real quick look it ended up being a half hour quick look <laughs> uh, into pickup locations. So, the Stratocaster here, those two are not tilted, so they will never sound exactly like a regular Strat, no matter what you do to it, unless you were to tilt them. <laughs> okay, imagine this bad boy. That's a triple coil pickup. That's a whole different thing. And, um, again, I do have reviews on every single guitar that is in here. So check it out, but at least for some of you beginners out there, you might start to understand why pickups are located in the places they are. You might see a guitar and say, wow, uh, let's see, let's find one like this. That pickup is right next to the bridge. So that's going to be biting your head off. But all you got to do is turn your treble down a little bit on your amplifier. Whereas this one, they left some space there. So it's not going to have that real high-end bite to it. But if you want it to, guess what? Yep, you got it. Turn up the treble on your amplifier just a little bit, and it'll be pretty close to the same thing without having to move your pickup. Okay? So it's a quick little guide. Hope you 
get something out of it. Once again, I am Scott Grove of GroovyMusicLessons.com. Please head over and uh, get some free lessons. Check out all the reviews on the guitars over there. Uh, there are lessons on pretty much all stringed instruments. Come check them out. And um, thanks for hanging with me. You guys be groovy. I am. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.